and we are back thank you for staying with us and as promised the first conversation of the day is on health and we are talking specifically on mental health how do you navigate mental health in this modern day and for this particular conversation i've been joined by uh, the lovely dr esther mweru she is a psycho psychologist and director of uh, amani nova um social a money over star solutions star solutions yes therapy uh, and, center. Therapy yeah. and counseling center yes all right most welcome we're glad to thank have you thank you so much i'm here i'm glad to be here yes. <laughs> glad to have you and we were thank chatting you. uh mm -hmm. off off air off air yeah. yeah and you're telling me about um how you got to be a psychologist which is interesting because yes. you didn't start as a psychologist so tell us about it so uh, thank you so much for having me. My name is Dr. Esther Muero. Uh, I'm a medical psychology mm -hmm. psychologist, basic um, majored mostly on behavioral analysis. Uh, I'm also the director of Amani Nova, Star Solutions Therapy and Counseling Center. Wow, where do I start? So like I said, basically I never started in this profession. Yeah. I started with project management. Interesting. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> How did you find I yourself know, I here? I know my father is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be very careful with your words. <laughs> okay, so you know, Ile normally is a high school and then you do well and then your parents, they go to ask. So we went with my dad. Actually, he's the one who chose it for me, project management. Okay. And it's because I did also business studies in school and I did so well. Uh, so it was something that... It was something that... He was, yeah, he was trying to see and also in the aspect, you know, every parent wants their child to prosper and go yeah. up and also uh, be marketable and have a job after school. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started. I went and did project management, but it wasn't something that was in me. Like, I always, by the way, growing up, eh, my mom, I remember one time my mom... Mm -hmm. bought me uh, uh, like a doctor's kit. It had the oh. C-range, it had the stethoscope, it had like ilikuwa na kila kitu. The and doctor said uh, Exactly. And I used to always tell my mom, Aki mom, I'll be a doctor. Oh. But I knew see Dr. Ramifugo. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, knew see Dr. It, Ramifugo. It could never have happened. So human being. It's, uh, yes. So when uh, I finished um, high school, uh, when we did the placements with COOPS, uh, they called me to join one of the universities, I'll mm -hmm. not mention. Uh, it was starting, it was a new one then, uh, to do medical lab. Mm -hmm. Then for me it was like... Uh, it's not it's the not University me, of Nairobi, it's uh, not uh, you, know, <laughs> you, it's not the it universities. It's not those universities and then Kosienye, that's not what I wanted. Mm. So that's when now my father brought in the option of doing project management, which was really good. Because okay. I can say it really has brought me to a place of having options. Mm -hmm. And I can steadily or actively do certain things for myself without like having to, you know, outsource or something. Uh -huh. um, so after I finished that, actually I remember I finished my final exams and then I left the country. So I left for Hungary, that's where I trained, uh, mm -hmm. that's where I went to university. Um, and then I f in f after four and a half years, I graduated and I practiced there. Uh -huh. yeah. So you've practiced uh, in Hungary? In Hungary, yes. As a psychologist? As a psychologist. Well, I practiced in different countries. When COVID hit, we were in Austria. It was me and another group of uh, students from other countries, um, like Moldova, uh, the Asian parts, they had come to study. So we, we had gone to um, a place called Sigurdorf. It's in Austria. It's just on the border of Hungary and Austria. Okay. And uh, that time we were doing uh, what we call... Um, basically, we we're giving psychological help to people who had gotten COVID positive. Okay. Because uh, if you go back to that time, most of the people who died in Europe were the old people. So you would get that these people have chronic issues and then to add on to that, there's COVID. Get COVID, so yes. it's almost... Uh, so it was, a prob it was problematic. Is someone will not accept, you know, they're like, this is it for me. Yeah, I'm gone. it's almost granted that you're going. You're going. So um, that, that's where I worked. I worked there actually like for almost seven months. Mm -hmm. And then uh, coming back again to Hungary, I worked with... Um, 
uh, hospital from the Reformed Church where I dealt with cases, severe cases for children, kids with Down syndrome, autism. Uh -huh. So basically, revolving around that, much of my practice was within Central Europe. Okay. So yeah. Okay, that's yeah. quite um, uh, commendable, very nice. Now, when you look at that two continents, now that you have an experience in uh, Europe and mm -hmm. now here in Africa, Kenya specifically, mm -hmm. would you say, w what are some of the factors that... Um, affects mental health and is it the same across the world or is it do uh, as africans do you have some unique things that affect our mental health compared to what europeans go through i'd say totally two different cultures mm -hmm. yeah uh, those are two different cultures because right now i could say mental health has started picking up in this country right now much of the mental health awareness and if you could also go back remember there was a time um, on news, there used to be so many people who are in depression. Unaskia flani aliwa flani, a man killed his children and, and all that. Nakajiwa. That's when people started now becoming aware. Hey, this is an issue. Mm -hmm. Depression is an issue because again, we come from a culture where unge kujawa mbi mzazi kona stress. Ana the first thing unolizo unalipanga rent. Kona mtoto. Exactly. What is stressing you? Make, make it make sense to me why it's stressing you. In Europe, a child who's a teenager is going to see a psychologist, right? Yeah. Or a therapist. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a status. Now, them, they are taught to talk their feelings. Okay. That my child cannot be put under pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Now, come to Africa, you are taught to be strong and not vulnerable. No, Nambiwa Venye Maisha, it's not you for the weekend, the weekend hearted. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So, those are two different cultures that can't be the same. And so you find that not, not the, okay, the mental health issues are the same. Whether in Africa, whether in Europe, yeah, USA, the everywhere, they're the same. Depression, anxieties, mm -hmm. all these things, you see them everywhere, right? But how they are managed or how they are dealt with or how the cases are yeah, totally are different. different. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, and I think, uh, you know, as you've said, how they have been raised for them expressing themselves it's is easy. It's easy. When yeah. you look at Kenya, you know, especially with our culture, especially mm -hmm. for the boy child, exactly. then it's harder, it's harder for, yeah. for the boy child. Yeah. So when we're talking, and we'll come to the boy child, mm -hmm. even in this conversation, because we need yeah, to talk about them. <laughs> 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 yeah. Today you have someone for you. Yeah. Yeah, I've come to tell the okay. boy child. Yeah. So uh -huh. now, when um, when you talk about mental health, mm -hmm. what are these problems associated with mental health for someone who doesn't know um, much about it? What are these issues? Anything that affects your peace of mind. Anything that I call it. Uh, well, people like to say being at a place of zen, like mm -hmm. you're in a zen mood. But anything that affects your peace of mind or anything that puts you out of stability from self. Because mm -hmm. everything about mental health is about self. It starts with you, self. So the ideology of self, anything that brings you out of the place of self, is a mental health issue. Okay. And classifying it into two parts, where people talk about therapy and counseling. Um, people confuse the two because... What's the difference? Okay, so now therapy, therapy is in longer uh, sequences, in the sense that Therapies for people who have bipolar, schizophrenia, ADHD, these chronic issues that are for long, mm. personality disorders, we place them in the category of therapy. Counseling is more of what is happening currently. Mm -hmm. It could be anger management, it could be, oh, I mean, anger issues, it could be emotional imbalances, it could be stress management, you're having stress. So that's we, counseling. So now that falls in the place of what we, we do and we call to counsel. Because mm -hmm. those are in two different brackets. Okay. But people kind of like confuse them. Because sure. counseling also does not need longer sessions. You don't need like five to ten sessions for like counseling. Mm -hmm. These are things that you can, these are things that are happening now and can be managed now. Okay. For therapy, it's, it's an ongoing thing. You need it. That's why it comes also to the medical part of it. Um, also, you find something like depression also falls into the two categories. It just okay. depends like the level, the level of which that person in which episode we, there's what we call episodic depression, 
where the, it comes and goes or there's that we call um, mild depression where now this person is suicidal and or maybe has been taking even antidepressants mm -hmm. so that one is that one can now fall in the category of therapy, therapy and those other things but then the minor issues we do more of counseling in them mm -hmm. so yeah those are the basically anything that just puts you out of your zen out of yourself anything then that disrupts you as a person those are all what we call about mental health, mm -hmm. the aspect of the mind. Okay. Yeah. And earlier on with my co-host, um, mm -hmm. she had read something mm -hmm. from the social media. Yeah. And it was more on how it manifests for you to get mental health issues, the problems. Mm -hmm. Before you get to depression, it will start with something very exactly. small. Yeah. So tell us, how do, you, how do you take note of this? How do, how do you become aware of self and know when you need help? So... Um, before someone gets to, you know, sometimes eh, someone will come and say, oh, you a depression. But I'm thinking that I see depression. See depression. <laughs> stress. You have to pig on a stress. Eh? Left right side. You're not depressed. You're just stressed. My wife is a pig. You're not a pig. I heard that About word. That's all I'm learning. Yeah, you're so not doing I th that. I think I'm learning the wrong thing. <laughs> I think I'm yeah, learning the, the wrong thing. In the streets, those are the right things. I'm going to go and I'm going to go. So, yeah. as I was saying, um, okay, depression doesn't just come. Mm -hmm. It starts with small things. You know, it's like uh, a good example. It starts with stresses. Stress. No, it starts with fear, actually. Okay. The fears. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, actually, mm -hmm. if you ask most people more often than not, sometimes we don't even know what like, we are aiming for or what we mm -hmm. really want in life. Okay. And I'm speaking for those who are young people. Yeah. Because... Believe you me, before you realize, like, this is what I, this is the path I want to go to, kunazile fears, ulikuwa nazo, like, okay, what if it doesn't work out? Yeah. What if I do this and then? What if I fail? fail? Yes. Thank you. Mm. So now you're put in a place of anxieties. Mm -hmm. That's where now the anxieties come in. Mm -hmm. It starts as a ka ka fear, then anxieties. Then now things don't work your way. Or things go opposite of what you expected. Mm -hmm. Now you're put from your comfort zone, now from your, like, your zone, your zen, you put in a place of like confusion and all these things. Then you start having anxieties. Mm. Then kidogo kidogo. That's when now you have this. Uh, uh, this it can be um, just depression, like normally depressed, where you're you just like okay, you don't want anything. You lose interest. You're sad all the time. Nothing makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be around friends. You just want to stay away. It could be also episodic, mm. where you put in a place of. Today you are happy, and then after some time, hakuna mtonakuwa na tena. You just lock yourself, like you're in your own place. Then you get momentum again. You're you back. get back. You get back. No, and then now, again, you relapse again, you know? So, and then it could be now continuous to a point where now you become suicidal. Mm. That's when where the mild depression kicks in. Okay. So these things, they don't just at the boom. I'm depressed. No, mm -hmm. it all starts somewhere. So you need to look out for signs. You need to look signs. out for such signs where you, Ukiona, like you're not mm -hmm. active anymore, where you don't even want to be with people, even family, where you just want to close yourself in and shut yourself in. You're never happy. The hobbies you used to like to do, you don't do them again. That's a cause sign for you to know that, okay, something is not right. Mm -hmm. But also, if you check it in this stage of from the fear, the stress, and then the anxieties, there's what we call anxiety attacks, eh? Yeah. So there's panic attacks and then the oh, anxiety. Oh, there's a difference between anxiety yes. attack and panic attack. What's the difference? Those are two different things. Mm -hmm. So panic attacks, a good example would be like I'm doing an exam, eh? Then I shtuka, like, for a moment, say it's equal to soma, but for I'm just giving an example where everybody relates, right? Mm -hmm. So for a moment, you're like, guy, like, have, have I read enough? Or yeah, have I that a moment of panic, which doesn't last long. Mm -hmm. Then anxiety attacks is where, like, you're even hypersensitive, where you're, like, breathing in, breathing out. Someone oh, can even relapse, yeah. It's very dangerous. Okay, the, I think I had I had it all the other way around. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Anxiety attacks are wa was more complex than panic attacks. Uh -huh. They result to that, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Yeah. so these are some of the things that we need to look out for. And now... Um, Let's talk about depression because it's something that's uh, common mm -hmm. and uh, something that people 
know about uh, mm -hmm. at least there's some good knowledge about depression but now the levels of depression mm -hmm. for what to get to the mal depression right yes so how do you get to that and when you get to that is there going back now this is where i said like when you're taken out of the concept of self or the, your you have the aspect of peace of mind now depression is very complex because like i said when you're at the like the last stages of depression, usually it's suicidal. Mm -hmm. You find this person just wants to die, literally, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's very important, that's why, it's very important to check up on your friends, by the way. They're drawn back, they're not the way they used to be, they don't want to be anywhere, they lock themselves in. Check on them, because mm -hmm. sometimes uh, it all started somewhere, and you may never know what the person is going How through. We all going through. That. So and many it's, things. And yeah. It's not good to assume that they they have just blocked you or exactly. You know, they just don't want to see you. Mm -hmm. And and you, and you know, what, th this is the thing again. Back to our culture, we come from a culture of uh, where you're taught to be strong. Eh? Even in situations, uh, you'll handle them. And then again, comes across the aspect of uh, the spiritual aspect of it, mm -hmm. where we seek God for. So many things we pray until Mahali by the Vitu Zikosa Kuwak, we mm. kind of like now start blaming God on so many levels. Mm -hmm. So, even the reason why I'm talking about even the spiritual aspect of it, because even people, you find that people are depressed, but they even spirituality cannot help them out of it. Mm -hmm. That and aspect so of Kumambia, God will come through. You need to seek help beyond prayer. Beyond prayer. Because mm -hmm. that point, the person ca cannot relate. They are not themselves anymore. Okay. So depression in itself is, it like kills you slowly. Mm -hmm. because, because now you're isolated. You see, you start isolating. You start now, like now you're more focused on what the issues you're going through, the negative energy. You're more focused on that and now you're stuck there. Mm -hmm. So now who brings you out of this place? You're like in a dark place where now there's nobody who can help you. And the worst part is when people don't talk, you know, you don't know what they're going through. They don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Now it becomes a bit hard to get them out of that. Okay. And sometimes it just needs you. They don't need to talk much, but just check up on the person. Just um, offer like a lending ear or just stay there. Just be there. So that they don't harm themselves. Because sometimes also, mm -hmm. it comes also with the... Before suicide, there's the aspect of self-harm. Where you find someone has cut themselves on their wrists. Because mm -hmm. they want to feel some sort of pain. That pain gives them a sort of comfort or something. You almost feel alive. Like you that. almost feel alive by going through that pain physically. Ah, okay. Because they don't want to feel it inside them. They want to feel it physically. Okay. So they start with those things of self-harm and all that. So now that becomes very dangerous because you can imagine if this person is isolated, no, no one is there. Anything can go wrong if they cut their wrist. And in the wrong way, the wrong vein or artery. Or artery, artery, they're gone. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's really sad because this is what most of our youth are going through, depression. And even when they speak, there's no one to like listen, mm -hmm. right? And which is sad. And, and it's sad because... Um, Sorry to say, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the generation of our parents and the parents before, I'm very sure if they would go to their parents to say they had depression, the question that comes <laughs> is, Sisi tulipitia, right? You understand? Yeah. So now, who is then going to be there for this person? Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I always think of it this way. We all have our journeys to work. We all go through certain things, but then again, the way you handle things is not the way I handle things. You're very different. Very different. The way someone could, you, you know, there the are people who go through things and you're like, if I went through the same thing, me, I would have died. True. You get? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, how are you here? Like, We're how is different. it yeah. you have maneuvered and gotten those shock absorbers? The people who will go through a certain issue and were quite depressed, depressed, Kabisa, who oh, no, no, your story, you're so minute, it's a it's a very, very small issue, mm -hmm. but it's a very big issue to them. And that's where I say that our culture has like minuted so many issues of life to a point where now 
people just sit by themselves and say, okay, fine. You feel like no one will understand no one you. Will understand this you. is just a me problem. No one exactly. else has gone through this. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So now, um, what do I want to ask? With the current state of things, uh, the modern day, mm -hmm. because we are talking about navigating mental health in the modern day. Yeah. For most people, uh, yesterday I was in a session and uh, it was, around Gen Z and this this were leaders, <laughs> this were industry leaders or mm -hmm. business leaders and HR pr practitioners talking about the workspace and how it has changed mm -hmm. and now the Gen Z and the character of the Gen Z, you know, the personalities, the personalities of the that Gen are Z. there, there yeah. are people and you, you'd see that uh, sometimes Gen Z are miss understood mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm glad that at least they were trying to understand gen z and incorporate them yeah but now in, in this time even as you've mentioned our parents might not be able to understand what we are going through mm -hmm. then what are these factors that have led to uh the gen z being different is mm -hmm. it the digital space that we have been raised in that has changed how things how the things that affect us mm -hmm. mentally and all that mm -hmm. and how can we handle that well, uh, we are in a totally different space, considering the mille millennials, the boomers, those generations coming down Before. from now, the Gen Zs, and now the generational alpha, mm. while they were coming out 12 years and below. And if you look at those spaces, I think a 12-year-old knows so many things now than how I was when I was 12. Absolutely. Like, there's so much information in Yemiskwana Jua that a 12-year-old now knows. Our time, it was easy for a parent to say, okay, si kununuli, si muadu, malize form four. Exactly. Right now, do that. People in class five have phones and tablets and Thank everything. Thank you. <laughs> so now, information is so rapid. Even if you don't tell them what is real or what is nini, Google is their friend. They will find out. They will find out. And now this generation is more outspoken, as you've seen it. It's more outspoken, it's more... Uh, you bring your opinion, right? It's not advice anymore. It's your opinion. It's your opinion. Yeah, yeah I have mine, and we will delegate it now. We see now what are the hapa mimi to to ki common ground ni common ground exactly tapatana. So I I don't want to encourage that to be. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't want to say everything. No, I don't want to say everything they do is right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because also, again, the aspect of kushi kwingi kuwana mengi, the mm -hmm. things our parents have seen or for so, and when they try to guide us or when they try to show us, mm -hmm. they're in the right, you know, configuration. Now, when it comes to mental health, uh, these Gen Zs, most of them, it's n not that it's not hard to get into depression, but they already know how to get the help that they need. They know already how to get access to the services that they need. Because they can go on online, mm -hmm. there's teletherapy, where you can access online therapy. Mm -hmm. They can get information where there are those apps where, th um, uh, like yoga, or things just to, to put them in their zen. Mm. Everybody has their way of dealing with things right now. Okay. There are those who like to gym so that they can, you know, offload the stress. The stress uh -huh. Yes. So we can't compare this generation with the generations before. Uh, right now, they are more, uh, like I said, more me mental health awareness is now more um, visible than it was beforehand. Okay. Because even before when, like, if uh, someone did my profession, the next question comes, unenda kutreat nani? Nani unona kona shida akili ya kakuja kwa 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 Mm -hmm. With this generation, it's more like a cool thing. But then I see a therapist. Yeah. It's a they have cool, the perception. The perception of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a psychologist, you know? You know? <laughs> and I'm a therapist. And that's so why it's a nice TV. When I'm a therapist, I'm a cool <laughs> so this generation is very interesting and um, mm -hmm. funny enough, um, they, they, they're in their own digital space. I would yeah. say digitalization has really um, put them at a place where 
um, they're not so much affected as such. But then again comes now the problem of social media addictions and all these things mm -hmm. that crop up because, again, they're consuming too much. There's too a lot coming in. There's a lot coming in. Mm -hmm. The parents can't stop it. The community cannot stop it. And now it brings in other vices that are not okay. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the workplace, they're inactive in the sense that I'm a patiwa kazi, wakoko asimu. I How do you handle that? Everybody's complaining about that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's you know, complaining about Gen Z being on their phone. It's an addiction. It's you an see? addiction. It's an addiction because now when I find TikTok challenges, I have Gen Z's in my <laughs> office, trust me. You There's know. one I even told Kwani, unakumbuko kwa ofisi. <laughs> Because now... They didn't know how to separate. You, now they don't know how to... With the social side. It's not like the millennials where um, their case was different, where they could they know how to take orders. Mm -hmm. These ones, they... they, they Okay, umeniambia nifanya hivo, okay, sawa. E time nitafanya TikTok challenge. Sibora apate nimefanya o kazi. Kwa ni mnataka aji. Sibora nimefanya. What else do you want? I mean, you know? Yeah. And then when ukileta maneno yako as the boss, they know they are right. They know they are <laughs> fine then. Then it becomes a whole, uh, it's a debate in court. Now you as a person, you're wondering, okay, mm -hmm. where do you now start? Now you see now the communications are totally different. Yeah. What you know, it's what you know versus what they know. Mm -hmm. And... It, it, it's quite it's quite an issue now it's quite an it's issue quite something yeah and um when you're talking about now the digital space mm -hmm. because i understand you also have an event geared yes. towards this yes so what are this influences and how do we fight the addiction is that a way to overcome because um what what is wrong about the space in itself social media is good you can yeah. make the most out of the digital space but then what is the problem now what are the vices of this and how do you cope in a way that it doesn't affect your mental well-being? Uh, oh, yeah. We're having the event on 31st. That's on Saturday. It's called Mind Over Media. We're mm. going to be having great speakers. Misara Kabu, CEO of bon uh, Bonfire, Bonfire Adventures. Adventures. Uh, we are having Dr. Frederick Mukiri. Uh, th he's a metaphysician. Mm -hmm. We are having entertainment from Ekudida Desagu. Uh, mm -hmm. We are having Omosh Kizangila. Mm -hmm. He's watching on Tidy High. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be our MC. So please go uh, check out on our pages. It's gonna be at Verona Hotel at Spa Mall. Mm -hmm. uh, ticket regular is just five hundred bob. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about mind of a matter, uh, mind mind of a media. Why? Mm -hmm. It's become a social challenge in the sense that uh, what was meant to be good has become bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that you find that, uh, the, that, like what I was saying, they consume too much, too much information. Now, whatever right information that they need to consume, because not everything you consume is good. It's good. Yeah. Too much of something, sometimes, it's it's most bad. times it's poisonous. Mm -hmm. So now uh, you can't, it's in a frequency that nobody can control it. Like I said, even if you're a parent and you lock it, like lock the child's phone. They'll still consume it from when they go to school, what a lot to discuss and kusema. Mm -hmm. And even now in schools, computers are internet connected. They will still go find information. Mm -hmm. And then the other aspect of, let's say for example now teenagers, you take a tai uchukwe simuya mtoto wako ati, you have taken <laughs> it. They will rebel. Not even rebel. The next thing you hear is that... Uh, they don't want to do anything. Now they're depressed. <laughs> it's a depression mode gone on. Yeah. And then also now in the workplace, the aspect again of the phones and not being on, 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 on social media, being on internet, mm -hmm. it's part of their rights. Right to uh, express themselves, right to mm -hmm. you know, get information and all these things. Mm -hmm. Now, we are at a point we can't control it. We are at a point where you can't even stop the digitalization itself. Yeah. Because it's, it's revolving. So many things are coming up. You put uh, some measures, then, you know, it has evolved. Now, what do you do after that? What do that? you do after that? Now, comes in the social aspect, now the social pressure within the groups, mm -hmm. you know, influencing each other. Now, people have started moving from Amanda University Hataki kusoma tena, 
uh, what do you do? I'm a social media influencer. You know. <laughs> I'm a TikToker. Which I don't... But they, these are professions that I don't really um, um, shun off. Mm -hmm. I don't negate. Because but sometimes people who don't have... Our phones with the discipline to certain things. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because there has to be a measure. There has to be a discipline. There has to be boundaries to certain things. You, it, it's not just about looking pretty on camera and, you know, getting likes and pop, you get the money. And that's why you see that most people, especially the young people again, they're coming into social media or coming into the digital space for validation. Unapata mm kama -hmm. their self-esteem, they lose it. Because in the sense that a maker picture, he doesn't get the likes she wants. Okay. Then what happens to that person? They get depressed. Kwa nini yule anapata hi? Kwanini, and then now it puts a, a people at a place where they do funny stuff so that they can trend. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was telling you earlier. Internet never forgets. By the time you're clicking to self, like, unajirudia, unafikiria, okay, what did I just do here? Already, people have an idea or an image of, of you. yourself. Mm -hmm. And then another thing you find that people are giving so much on media that it's taking... It's, it's like you're giving a piece of yourself to people that like you forget yourself mm -hmm. and then you live you live outside your means to impress people okay. you see these are issues now cropping up yeah, yeah. because if you don't live by the standards of people then, then what happens be. to you mm -hmm. you start getting depressed unapata anxieties unata kujua unakujabaka tiktok oh mlifanya ikaenda Sasa <laughs> sasita, <laughs> una, una <laughs> no, you you <laughs> see, true, yeah. it, it becomes issues, you know. Mm. And then sasa watu kuchangia, because we need to put you in a lifestyle that even sisi tuna approve. Sisi <laughs> kama <laughs> social media viewers, <laughs> tukikupe a lion. <laughs> I'm not, a lion. again, singili, yeah. aki singili mtuyote, <laughs> kindly. <laughs> You see, these are the things that are coming in, mm -hmm. and now they're becoming issues. So, how do you now the challenge comes? How mm -hmm. do we now handle them? Okay. Because, unless Sasawe wa mu, Sami, okay, I need to balance this. This is when I'm at work, I need to focus on this, mm -hmm. and when I'm at home, I need to focus on this, and then I have time for social media, have time for this and that. You find that now even kids are sneaking in phones in school. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. they want that freedom and they'll do everything to have that freedom. And then to a point now, they know so much. Paka parents are like, how do you know these things? Yeah. Nani alikuambia? And they're like, well, you're so, you know, they see their parents as so backward. Right? Yeah, that's true. They have no idea what is happening. And parenting becomes very hard, you know. Parenting now becomes hard. The parent now goes into depression again. Maombi every single day. Kama siyezi kuchapa ubadilike. Hacha ni kuombe yo pepo ito. So it becomes, everybody now is affected. The community is affected. Yeah. Because the quality or the output of having a vibrant person in the community to change and make an impact is not seen anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying digitalization is bad. Actually, it's very good. It's just that people are misusing it. Okay. Because you could go, I mean, right now you can go on uh, on, 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 on the internet and then um, do a course, you know, you know, an online course to better your IT skills, to better your uh, whatever course you've done and be able also to even make mm -hmm. a job for yourself yeah but we are not going in that direction and even if you're going in that direction there comes a point it's like well, there's no balance so you lose your mind in it mm -hmm. that's why we're having the for a mind over media okay how don't you lose your mind in that media concept mm -hmm. yeah how don't you how are you able to you know still be productive still be yourself even in the concept of all this mirage or whatever that's happening. Okay. Yeah. I think that's quite profound. And uh, it speaks to the, the heart of 
the topic that we were really talking about because that the digital disruption mm -hmm. is what is happening in this modern yeah. day mm -hmm. and people have lost themselves in yes. the media they have found identity that is not really it's theirs. not really them it yeah. is not really them because you want to conform to what yes. the media is and then the pressures come in and a lot you know but in Allah hospital in Allah hospital because of the pressures of the curiosity just is water he mm. likes au kufata jamani he can do that na feel can be kuwa as i can as they can produce more but it's fine it's yeah fine. so i think um that's a very important conversation to have and maybe we will continue even with this discussion because yes. we still need to talk about the boy child the boy child maybe oh, you yeah. can mention that very um uh, uh on a on a very high level uh, as we close um so the aspect of the boy child if i again back to when we were talking about me having stayed in europe and kenya mm -hmm. uh the boy child aspect in europe is very different when you talk about human uh rights and laws of uh human rights we mm -hmm. start with women women are more empowered actually mm, outside true. the country women are so empowered than the aspect of children than animals than men wow. sadly men after animals man <laughs> that's bad and then when you in the african tradition the men are the you know they're the kingpins mm -hmm. but over the time tukakuja na hii ni ya there's a like period where now we started empowering women and we pushed it we pushed it which I, i'm not saying it was bad we pushed that agenda and we yeah. did it and it was successful mm -hmm. but then again the men were left behind now who comes to defend the, the men mm -hmm. and you know uh, the aspect of a man in a community or, or even in a generation is very important why did god create man in the first aspect and not woman because man stood in for god's agenda man is the key channel to many other things man mm -hmm. is the seed carrier so when we forget about the seed carrier and we focus on other things we are killing a generation without knowing when men don't know how to stand in their place who do we follow now because if you find that a man simply family unit those people have grown up without fathers i don't say they don't turn out well but they always have issues mm -hmm. childhood traumas daddy issues everything goes wrong most of the people that um we i we kind of did a research before uh for um psych, uh, psychopaths in prison both in chile and in hungary and we realized most of the prisoners in jail they never had fathers really they never had fathers okay so the so father the, figure is very important for the, the father boy. figure is very important the aspect of the male child is very important and that is something that we need to bring back and empower men to take up because now you find even those who are now coming in the kind of men that are coming in are not uh well nurtured as they should be as the origin was so you find that the society becomes complicated mm -hmm. the whole system is rooted in a very complicated structure okay yeah. i think that's quite profound so we need to give bring back the boy child you know yeah we need to bring back the boy child we to need to see how we're raising our sons <laughs> yeah our brothers and how we handle even our fathers okay yeah. great i think that's a great place to to close it yes um i allow you to give your social media handles remind us about the event and yes. uh, anything that you want to say directly to the camera um my social media handles are at esther hadasa uh instagram esther underscore hadasa tiktok mm -hmm. dr esther hadasa um we are located at spa mall second floor that's where our therapy center is so if you need any health care service mental health care service please please do uh write to us uh come visit us and we will um we will you can have a consultation which is free and we will guide you through your mental health journey uh the event again is at verona hotel which is going to be on the 31st this saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m uh tickets regular is 500 um vip is 1500 and mm -hmm. vip is 2000 um it's going to be a day of activities entertainment networking uh, right. we've partnered with some companies like clean max uh harvard institute um uh bonfire is going to be there and i'm sure there're going to be opportunities because 
um, MISAR is heading uh, virtuous women, and they have great opportunities for those who are looking for jobs and all that. Okay. And um, um, Rain Reach Security. So it's a day of the twerking, entertainment, and just good vibes. Mm -hmm. And we get to learn a lot. So, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank uh, you also. For the great discussion yeah. there. We were talking about navigating mental health in the modern world with Dr. Esther Mweru. She is a psychologist and director of Amani Nova SS, uh, SSC Therapy and Counseling Center. I hope you've taken some things from this. Talk to us at Y254 channel. The hashtag is one in the morning or Thursday vibes. We're going to take a short break and then Calabi Val will be back with entertainment. It's all about the music and great stuff. So stick with us.